welcome. Now let's talk about the time leading up to making the decision to make this lifestyle change. It was early in January 2024 after New Year's and everybody makes New Year's resolutions. Mine started a little bit before that. But I'm a big, big fan of learning off of YouTube. There's so many smart people, honest people, who, will, who are sharing information. I literally spent weeks and countless hours doing research on YouTube trying to decide what people are doing, what's really working, who's making sense, who has a long history that they've vlogged of their successes and their failures. And in the description below, I'm going to list about a dozen or more channels of people who I spent time listening to. About five of them may be doctors, MDs, and various specialists. Some are people, some are people who were obese who now aren't. Some are people who've been doing this for five and ten years. Some document their first hundred days. Some document their first thirty days. Some just said that they've been doing it for three years. And as I watched more and more of their videos, you could see the modifications they were making and the changes. And more importantly, you could see the difference. You could see the difference in the glow of their skin. Uh, and some of these people were senior citizens like, like myself. And some of these men and women were in their 30s and had families and children they were raising. They're just such a wide, wide, wide range. And this is before I made the decision to do anything. This was like, what am I going to do? Am I going to, you know do all these fad diets or whatever. And, and some people can say this is a fad, quote unquote, diet. But from everybody I've researched to do this, it's like, if you're hungry, eat and eat till you're full. We don't care how much you eat. Eat one steak or eat two steaks. One of the doctors that I watched, I forget which one it was, made the, mis the statement that, for example, eating bacon, just bacon by itself, it fills you up so much that he said he found it very hard to eat too much bacon. You'd eat bacon, but there'd be a point where you just said, I've had enough. You know, Thanksgiving meal, I'm full, don't want any more. So, all these people helped me make the decision. And I'm going to provide a list of YouTube channels and links that you can click on in the description and go to these channels if you're interested and listen to what they have to say as well now 
I did all this before I decided I was going to create a whole new YouTube channel that just documented the eating changes and the results. And therefore, I'm actually like, I'm talking about a period that happened 30 days ago. And I'm actually six days into the change. And I'm making this video catching up on what I've done. And I created notes, so I'll make a few videos going up day by day to where I am now. And eventually I'll catch up. And I'll be doing some videos that are live. I've ran into a lot of problems already, especially in the fact that I'm over here doing a little tidbits from Thailand. Things are a little different. Brands that you knew about of certain things are hard to get over here unless you want to order them from Amazon. Some of those things won't ship to Thailand from Amazon. So I'll go over all that in various future videos. But if you're considering doing any of this, there is a lot to learn. There's a lot to learn from the successes and the failures. Now don't get me wrong, there are some people that say, I went on carnivore and I had a stroke. Or I went on carnivore and it made me sick. Then others say, I went on carnivore, lost 200 pounds, and then it you see the before and the afters, and you watch them go to the high school gym and take the, the rope. Remember the high school gyms had them big-ass ropes like that that went up to the ceiling? This guy went from over 300 pounds... He's at the high school gym, grabs that rope, goes hand over hand, climbs up to the ceiling without using his feet on the rope. Just pulls himself up with his hands. Boom. At 300 pounds, down to where he's at now. He does his walking every day to walk, but no. Does he do ordinary walking? No. He, this guy's walking with a weight vest on with 20 pounds in the front and 20 pounds in the back. So he's walking with a 40 pound weight vest. And then midway in his walks, he'll stop and do push ups. I mean, now, granted, he's really going hog wild on the exercise program. But these are things you can learn. So don't trust anyone source of information. I'm going to let you know how I did. I'm going to let you know what's working and what isn't. And there will be future videos to pick this out of. So, I'll also be adding some videos and some channels on the preparation of meat. And that's a whole nother can of worms. Now I thought I knew how, I thought I knew a lot about beef. I really did. And to tell you the story, when I grew up, we had good friends of the family who we called cousins. And their mom and dad were just like second moms and dads. And my Uncle Bill Hancock, he was a butcher. And his brother was a butcher. Now, Uncle Bill, he worked at the slaughterhouses every day. Killing cattle, skinning cattle, breaking them down. And Danny, he, he used to have a business where he went out and went to the farmer's farm in a truck and a trailer, took the cow in one side of the trailer and 
slaughtered the cow and hung him up and cut him up and wrapped him up, the, the meat, and did it all on site. Well, the reason I go there is what they taught me was a long time ago, but they used to have meat and different cuts of meat. And they knew the good from the bad and how to prepare it because if they ever made a meat, as far as I'm concerned, it was damn good. And when they made a recommendation, it was damn good. And my dad's brother, he sold knives to butchers. Expensive knives. Now, I've been trying to find those. I think it, they were called like a Forstner knife. But we'll get into that on the knives video. Because if you're going to eat meat, there's a lot of things that you're going to, that I'm doing to try and make my life a little easier because although high protein carnivore type diet is tasty and satisfying in a lot of ways, it's not easy. You know what's easy? Bag of chips and a diet Pepsi, that's easy. Easy, have some coffee in the morning, and banana muffins. That's easy. Get your coffee, grab your banana muffins. That's easy. And easy is a synonym with obesity. And, th and that's where we are today. And I know I... I'm not as old as some of the people who watch this channel. Going to be 69 soon. But I'm older than some others, and I think I know what went wrong. Anyway, this is what I'm going to call Day Zero. I'll call this day zero. Before I made the decision to dive into this with both feet. Now, if you, you'll get more value the more I get into this trip. But if you'd like to give a thumbs up and a comment, subscribe, whatever, I appreciate it. It will help others find the channel now I'm not gonna make any money on this channel not trying to make any money on this channel so unlike some of the people who are saying please like subscribe share blah 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 I want money because I want YouTube to recommend my video and I want to get paid for all the advertising that they stick on the video it isn't like that First off, they don't pay all that much unless you get really big and really popular. And some of these people are. And they might be making some really good coin. But I'm not going to be making... The only reason I want my channel to grow is if I can spread good karma and I can motivate somebody else to take this journey on their path, maybe not how I'm doing it, but how they want to do it. If I can do that, that's good karma. And I can't do that unless somebody finds this channel. So help YouTube Push me out to a few people who might be looking to make this lifestyle change. And if it fails, I'm going to fail and I'm going to fall right down on my face in front of all of you. And you can comment and criticize and tell me I lack willpower or something or the other and... 
troll me on the internet like some people do, that's okay. In fact, I encourage it. That's one of the reasons I'm doing it. Because if you challenge yourself and you don't tell anybody and you fail, well, you can just go on your merry way with no embarrassment whatsoever, none. Well, if I fail, I want everybody to know that I fail. It won't be the first time I failed in my life on doing things. In business, I've failed. And I'm used to failing. When I played professional poker, I used to play, you know, five, six days a week I'd play poker. And I'd go out, and six out of ten days, I came home a winner. But four out of ten days, I came home a loser. I could easily have said to myself, I lost today. Man, I'm a thousand dollars stuck today. I could have stayed home and watched reruns of All in the Family. If they'd only put those All in the Family reruns back in because they were great. But I didn't. You know, it's tough. If you go out there for 10 years and you... And four out of every 10 days you come home with less money you left with and you were hoping to win money? Well, that's the way most winning poker players are. You know, you have to be exceptional if you think you're going to go out there and you're going to win 90 out of 100 times you play, you're going to come out winner. There are some times that the cards just won't let you win. So I'm used to losing, and I'm used to having people see me lose. You know, you play some of the players that know you, play with you regular. When I was in Vegas, half the people at the table were regulars. The other half were tourists who came into town for a good time, decided to play a little cards. They were the great people. But believe me, the regulars, they see you as a loser all the time. In fact, they got up that morning and came to the casino that evening and with the sole purpose of making you a loser. <laughs> That's the way it is. So I'm doing this so that if I'm a loser, everybody knows it. And that makes me to want to be a winner even more. That's all, folks.